Okay, this is uh, Japan, turn six. They have 69 IPCs to spend. They're going to spend, remember, they get discounts on all of the Navy because they have improved shipyards. So 13 and 7 is 20 IPCs on a new carrier and a new destroyer. 10 IPCs on a new cruiser. Uh, 18 IPCs on three transports. And then 21 IPCs on three artillery, one tank, and one infantry. Uh, they will be declaring a series of attacks. One of them is a pretty substantial one. Uh, we are going after... Oh, sorry, there's one extra thing that's happening here. Sorry. Uh, we are going after uh, quite a few things. Uh, in um, Japan, or in China, we're going after Sui Yuan with um, the two infantry tank and mech infantry in Shahar, along with the... Um, tactical bomber, uh, and also the uh, artillery from Hopei. The two infantry and tactical bomber are, are going into Shenzi from Hopei. Uh, the tank is going into Sichuan along with the strategic bomber. Um, down in the South Pacific, uh, we are going to do an amphibious landing in Java using all three available transports, the one from Calcutta that's bringing in infantry and an artillery, the one from Borneo that's bringing in artillery, and the one from Celebes that's bringing uh, an infantry and artillery. The battleship will also uh, accompany that one and uh, do an offshore shot. The final attack, and this is the one I'm not sure about, but I'm going to do it anyway just for the hell of it. Um, I will be sending the entire Japanese Navy in C-Zone 6 into the uh, American Navy in C-Zone, um, whatever the hell that is, 8, I think it is. So that is consisting of four destroyers, six submarines, two battleships, two cruisers, and three fully loaded carriers, two of which have a fighter and attack bomber, and one of them has two attack bombers. I'm also bringing the um, strategic bomber as well. One, two, three... Yeah, it can land. Um, the Americans are defending with quite a bit. So this is going to be the biggest uh, naval battle uh, of the game, I think. And uh, I probably wouldn't have done this, but obviously, you know, the Americans... I, I, I did the same thing that my opponent did. Uh, I misread the map and thought they could make it back all the way to uh, Alaska. I was going to build uh, with the Russians... Uh, port in a moor, but uh, they didn't have enough money to do that. Uh, okay, so we'll set up the dice and get rolling. Okay, this is the battle for Sui Yuan. Uh, two infantry, one artillery, one mech, one tank, one um, combined arms tactical bomber. So two ones, two twos, a three and a four. More than enough hits. And the Chinese defend with a two. And take out a Japanese infantry. Okay. So Japan takes the territory with one casualty. Okay, this is a battle for Shenzi. Two infantry and a tactical bomber against an infantry. No hits. Hit. One infantry and attack the bomb. Hit. Miss. Okay, so China, Japan takes the territory with one casualty. Okay, battle for Sichuan. Uh, one strategic bomber, so two twos, and a tank at three. Hit. Chinese defense. Hit. Okay, so they do not take the territory. Uh, they lose the tank. Uh, they clear the Chinese infantry out, but they do lose the territory. Okay, this is the amphibious landing in Java. Um, the Japanese transport ship, the Hokoku Maru is bringing in infantry and an artillery. The transport ship 
Congo Maru is bringing in infantry and an artillery, and the transport ship Hikawa Maru is bringing just an artillery. The battleship Yamashiro is doing an offshore shot. So we have five twos and a four. Three hits, only needed two. Territory's taken. Let's see if the Aussies can defend. No casualties whatsoever for the Japanese. So successful amphibious landing. Okay, bear with me because we've got a lot of Navy to explain here. All right, three Japanese carriers, the Soryu, the Akagi, and the Kaga are bringing each um, two planes. Um, one of them is bringing two uh, attack bombers, and the other two are bringing attack bomber and a fighter each. Four Japanese destroyers. The Fubuki, the Akizuki, the Ayanami, and the Natsuzuki. Uh, six submarines. Uh, I-158, I-172, I-154, I-159. And finally, I-157 and I-155. Okay, uh, cruisers are the uh, Takao and the Megami. And finally, the battleships are the Nagato and the Kirishima. They are attacking a bunch of American ships, the transports. SS Gus W. Darnell, SS Brown Victory, SS Gilbert Stewart, SS William Williams, SS Logan Victory, SS John H. Couch, four carriers. So the four carriers, I'm going to put these dice over here. Four carriers are the Yorktown, the Enterprise, the Hornet and the Lexington, three destroyers, the Meade, the Clark and the Caldwell, two cruisers, the Indianapolis and the New Orleans, and one battleship, the Indiana. Okay, uh, so the Indiana is going to get to roll anti-aircraft. And it misses with all three. Okay, that's good news for the Japanese. Okay, away we go. Uh, so, four destroyers. The uh, bomber. Six subs. Uh, two fighters and two unsupported tactical bombers. Uh, two cruisers. Two battleships. And two supported tactical bombers. Oh, that looks like a good first roll. There's three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hits. Twelve hits for the Japanese. Okay, two of these guys are going to fly away with this guy. Um, so then we'll just put the decks up here for now and see what we need to get. Okay, twelve hits for the Japanese. Uh, okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to kill all four carriers, so that's eight. Uh, two of the three destroyers is ten, and then uh, the two tactical bombers is twelve. Okay, that's what we're going to kill. Okay, defense. We have the three pairs of boats, so six boats, so that's three ones. Four twos for the uh, carriers. 
Um, actually, you know what? Let's put back one of these and we'll damage the battleship. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, so, three destroyers, two tech bombers, one cruiser, five fighters, and then a battleship and cruiser in combo. That also looks like a pretty good roll. Four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay. Going to kill two carriers, so that's four. That's uh, subs. That's eight. Nine, ten, and one destroyer is eleven. Okay. Let's keep going. All right, what's left here? Let's get these. That's damaged. That's there. That's there. These five are here. And then that one. Okay. What's left for these guys? We have three twos. Um, this guy's flown away. He's not dead, but he's flown away, so he doesn't get a die. One, two, three, four for those. One, two for those. And then one, two, three, four for those. Okay. All righty. So three twos, four threes, two threes, two fours, two fours. Two, four, six, seven hits. That was a hit. Seven hits. Uh, one. Two. Three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine, uh, three, four, five, gonna damage one of the battleships, so, six, seven, whoops, sorry. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So what's left? Three ones. Geez, I could retreat right now, couldn't I? Um. No, but then he just hit me with everything he has. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I will retreat. I will retreat from the sea zone. So that's the end of the battle. So the Americans keep five planes, which have to land in the Aleutians, and they do keep all of their transports. Okay, so that's that. So the uh, Japanese are left with a carrier, which is undamaged. Uh, one damaged battleship and one undamaged battleship, and two cruisers and a fighter and a tactical bomber. Okay, non-combat movement. All three planes involved in these attacks will land in Shahar. 
Uh, the infantry from Kiangsu will be railed to Jehol as a blocker. The infantry and the artillery from Kiangsu will be railed to Yunnan. Um, in uh, the India area, the artillery will be moved up to West India. The um, tank will retreat to West India. Uh, and then the only other move that the Japanese have are two of the fighters from Tokyo are going to go into the sea zone in preparation for the new carrier ending up there. So that is the end of the turn. Okay, now on to the uh, place um, units turn. Um, the tank and the artillery are going to be placed in Calcutta and then... Uh, a transport in the shipyard in 39. Uh, in Kiangsu, we're going to build three artillery. And then in Season 6, we're going to build two transports. We're going to build a new carrier. And we're going to build a cruiser and a destroyer. Okay, uh, changes to income down there. The Japanese are going to take four points from the Anzacs, and they're going to take two points from the Chinese. So, Anzac goes down from 15 to 11, China goes down from 8 to 6. And then Japan goes up from 55 to 61. Okay. Um, so, uh, income, base income 61. They have two national objectives. They hold Calcutta and they hold Burma. So that is um, the end of Japan's turn. Um, now, actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5. Yeah, they're not anywhere near there yet. Um, yeah, they have that one. Okay. I was just looking at victory points. Right now, just if we're curious uh, of where the axis stand right now, uh, they have 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 victory points, so that is currently a win. Uh, but it is early. Um, there are a couple of turns. It's looking very good right now for the Axis, uh, mainly because I haven't played the Allies very well, I don't think, since my opponent left. Um, I've made a lot of silly mistakes with the Americans and the Russians, and uh, I think this game, we know probably which way this game is going. But we'll play it out, we'll see what happens. And uh, so that was Japan's turn. The United States is up next. We'll see what they want to do. See if they back up or what they do.